Hey guys, it's Trevor again, and today we're going to be painting Magnus the Red for my friend Satya. So one of the most exciting things about this kit is that they give you a few options with how you want to assemble him. You could go classic full armor with those beautiful nipple horns, or you can go no armor at all with just the nipple horns and loincloth. Or my personal favorite, nipple horn crop top and loincloth. Really shows off his sick abs and juicy thighs. I like to imagine that this is how he was dressed when he went to warn the emperor about the Horus heresy, and he was like, Father, Horus and the others are planning to betray you. And the emperor was like, Oh god, what are you wearing? Lehman, Lehman Russ, please take care of this for me. And you know what? If you aren't a fan of nipple horns, though I can't imagine why not, you can just replace them with faces. Bet you're regretting giving me those extra bits now, Games Workshop. In fact, why bother with the armor when we can just have faces? Oh man, he looks just like the Little Mermaid. But instead of a seashell bikini, it's just faces. Actually, did I really have to put both nipple horns down here? What happens if I just use one? Ah, YouTube bans me. So as it turns out, Satya was not pleased with my artistic creations very not pleased. So instead, we're gonna go with something a little bit vanilla. So basically, I just cleaned off the bottom of one of the nipple horns, plastic glued it to his shoulder, chopped the other nipple horn in half, plastic glued that under his suspiciously big hand, and there you go. Less sexy Magnus. Ugh, goodbye hopes and dreams. So before I paint him, I'm gonna smoosh some air dry clay into his base, form some uneven rocks out of it, and leave it to dry. Alright, to the painting! Oh, and quick disclaimer, I will be painting his wings and armor plates separate from his main body, just to make it a bit easier for me. Okay, so let's spray 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 that grey grey grey. Then we're gonna use this dark red to paint all his skin. Man, Magnus is ripped. Then we're gonna gonna grab this dark blue and base coat all his feathers. This also includes his fun arm and leg feathers. Then we're gonna grab this white paint and paint his loincloth. This will represent the chastity that Magnus has to endure now that he doesn't have his sexy nipple horn crop top. Next, we're gonna grab some Thousand Suns blue and use it to base coat all his armor panels. A little bit of off-white paint to paint all his talons and his lovely curving horns. We're gonna grab some of this dark brown paint to paint his Sophia Vergara hair. And we're also going to use it to paint this book on his waist, which I can only assume is the upcoming Thousand Suns Codex. Some black paint to paint the handle of his glaive, and back to the brown to paint the tips of his horns. In fact, I'm going to blend this in using stippling to create what I like to call a horny gradient. Okay, let's use some of this silver paint to paint all the metal bits that are sticking out of his skin, as well as the blade of his weapon. We're going to use some white paint to paint all the irises of the creepy eyes that are all over him. And while that's drying, we're gonna grab some of this dark blue paint and stipple it all along the borders of where his feathers meet his skin. This will create a cool transition between the peacock half of him and the man half. Next up, we're gonna grab this bright green paint and paint all the irises of the creepy eyes, the flame on his weapon. And we're gonna water down the paint and use it to pick out the sorority tattoo on his suspiciously big arm. And of course, let's clean up those edges with the original red. Onto the wings, we're gonna grab some Thousand Suns blue and dry brush it onto all the feathers that are closest to his body. Then we're gonna dry brush a dark purple onto the feathers closer to the tips of the wings. After that, we're gonna use this lighter blue to dry brush highlight the closer feathers, and then we're gonna use this light purple to do the same for the outer feathers. After that, we're gonna pick out the symbols on his wings using the same bright green as earlier. After that, we're gonna mix the green with some white and use it to highlight the most raised parts of all the symbols. Then we're gonna water down the green paint until it's almost translucent and paint it over over all the symbols. Once it's dry, it's gonna sort of look like a little glow around the symbols. Alright, and the time has come to do all the gold trim. This is probably the longest part of this paint job, but it's also one of the most satisfying parts. Alright, and let's carefully paint his eyes green. Easy. I am a leaf on the wind. Ah, Okay, so I guess I'll clean that up later. Rolling with the punches, we're gonna grab some yellow and use it to paint all the stripey details on his armor. Alright, we're just gonna fix a couple of mistakes using the original red. Then we're gonna grab this dark purple and just pick out a couple of veins on his body. You know, to make him look like swollen stuff. Then we're gonna glue on his armor, mix some red wash, black wash, and a bit of water, paint that all over his skin. Then we're gonna grab some black wash and paint it all over his armor panels hair, 
and the fire on his weapon, and then a bit of brown wash on his horns and talons. To highlight, I'm gonna grab this orange paint, stick him underneath a big light, and then I'm gonna paint the orange onto all the areas of his skin where the light shines the brightest. And then I'm gonna water down the original red until it's pretty translucent and paint it over all the highlighted areas to blend them in nicely. Eh. Not bad, right? We're gonna do something very similar for the armor plates using a light blue to highlight. Let's just pick out all those raised areas. And then we're gonna blend them in with the original blue. Let's use some white to highlight the raised folds of his loincloth. And then some Gehenna's gold to highlight the gold parts. We're gonna use the mix of white and green paint to highlight some of those little green details. And we're also gonna dry brush it onto the center of the green fireball on his weapon. A bit of yellow to go on the tips of the flames. And then we're gonna water down the green paint and paint some of that glow on his weapon. Ooh, and let's make his sorority tattoo glow as well. So fabulous. We're gonna grab some of this khaki paint to dry brush onto his hair to highlight it. Fun fact, this also works on real human hair. So stop wasting your money on expensive hair products and dry brush some paint onto your hair. All right, let's super glue his wings in. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, but I think the color of his armor plates is a bit too close to that of his wings. So let's just grab this blue wash and paint it onto all the blue parts of his armor. While that's drying, let's go work on our base, which is all dry now. So let's break it apart, glue the pieces onto the base with some slight gaps in between. Then we're gonna use a pencil to draw a big old eye, use a chisel to etch out the lines we just drew, spray it grey, hit it with a black wash, stipple on some brown and some khaki paint. And then we're gonna use our bright green paint to pick out the lines of that carving we made. Then we're gonna dry brush a lighter grey paint over all the stone parts, highlight the center of the green lines using the white and green paint mixture, dry brush some green around the edges of the carving, and then water down some green paint and apply it to give that glowing effect again. You know what this needs? some cool runes. So I'm gonna quickly carve those out using a pen knife. Then I'll paint them exactly the same as the carving. Can't forget to paint some of that glow on Magnus's feet. And bam! We're done! Overall, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. Apart from the lack of nipple horns, I mean. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can drop a like, and you can also let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe! Thank you to my friend Satya for letting me paint this model and for putting up with all my nonsense. And thank you for watching! Hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time!